Hello guys, welcome back to AWM FX. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, no matter where you are. So today we're gonna have a case study of XAU versus USD, the gold, right? The touch of the Midas, the gold. So I'm gonna show you how I did this trade. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I did this trade. I'm using the conventional uh, supply and demand method to trade it. Alright, so first of all, uh, if you want to use uh, the QM, it should be no problem too. Okay, let's look at this trade. So now we're looking at the day chart. So if you look at it, this is also a QM because this movement breaks the previous low. So this is definitely a QM level too. So if you want to trade it as a normal supply and demand, we have a very major daily. Because now we're looking at the daily chart. This is a daily supply uh, daily supply zone all right this is a very very big daily supply zone because the stop loss is actually quite huge the zone is quite big okay so how do we sniper it how do we sniper it so uh, basically uh, last week when the price is shooting up after the opening of the week and all right after the new year the price keeps shooting up so what happens is that uh, we already identified this zone in our group so what happens is that that I did is that I go into lower time frame and I'm gonna look for something that I want okay that I want so why is it let's go into lower time frame so once I go into lower time frame all right once I go into lower time frame I saw another supply zone within the supply zone which is very very beautiful so this is my supply zone. This is my supply zone. So let me make it another color. Alright, let's do it another color. Hmm. How about this? I change it into Alright. This I'm gonna change it into blue color. Alright, so you can identify. It. So this is the zone that I trade. Okay, this is the zone. Uh some of you might ask why you don't put it towards the big up up there this big okay, enlarge it this big you can do it too you can do it too all right because what why I, I'm, I'm doing this is i'm taking risk uh this is actually not the proper way but i'm taking risk reason is that now i'm looking at h4 chart okay h4 chart the candle is actually very big okay and once i saw what i want okay i'm not going down into smaller time frame at all Okay, I'm not going into small time frame. This is how I do my snipering. From a big time frame, no matter it's from the day chart or the four hour chart or one hour chart, it doesn't matter where I start. I go into one smaller time frame and I look for the zone or the things that I want. Okay, such as the uh the king or such as the bearish engulfing or decision point. So once I identify or once I saw that I'm not going into smaller time frame, I won't be going into small time frame because I might get the risk of get a, I have the risk of a hitting stop loss easier. So let's continue back into this trade. So exactly at this area, this is where I place my uh, cell. All right, I place my cell and. I monitor what happens next so at that moment the price keep going up right and i have to believe with belief in my analysis right this is all about practice practice and practice so once you have practice a lot you will have the confidence okay sometimes you ask me why i can uh, be so accurate it's not it's because i do a lot of practice and back testing uh that's why i know the price is going to react or reject if it get my stop loss then just leave it that is the part of the game all right so what happens is that the price keep going up all right the price keep going up and it makes another thing okay i'm gonna teach you something new today so what when the price is going up we're gonna drag a trend line okay so over here if you can look at it properly this is what we call it the tree drive Okay, the tree drive it happens again and again not the first time in gold so the price keep going up okay so on the third 
time it will drop all right when it will drop and this is what we call the three touch okay one two three the three drive sorry the three drive so when if it's forming the three drive i know that this will definitely will be going down all right it will be going down so how do i take my profit okay i'm not going to uh tell you that uh exaggerate what is going to happen next so exactly where i take my profit is at this area all right at this area okay so the in actual the price did go very very low but i'm very honest i took my profit at this area only why the reason is very very simple because there is a gap okay once there is a gap there is what we call it a missing information okay there is a missing information so i do not know what is happening over here so i'm gone i'm not gonna take my risk i know the price will definitely will close back to the gap but what will happen next i really cannot predict okay so this is exactly where i took my profit and the price keep going lower until the end of this week all right so let's see okay. the price went down all right that is already none of my business okay you have to know something when you're trading you don't act as if you are the uh, creator <laughs> i'll use the word creator instead of god you don't predict the future okay you look at the market the market tell you what is going on you just react towards what is happening that's all end of the story you don't make the prediction what if what if what if right just take as it if at this is only so i had a a quick uh quite good gain after the new year so it was around the store is actually quite huge for me but uh, I have to take it anyway because this is a very very major supply zone supply zone so exactly at this area I took my profit so it's a uh, one to nine not a lot but uh, I'm happy with it one to nine risk reward ratio All right of course if what if let's look at what if one to nineteen okay just forget about it <laughs> alright so am I sad no I'm satisfied because I've entered exactly at the point of the reversal and not only that I predicted the movement correctly right I predicted the move I read the movement correctly so exactly at this area I took my profit and I'm right out of the game so this is how I'm going to teach you today two lesson important lesson the first lesson is that if you saw a major all right if you look at my box okay i have two boxes over here the orange box and the blue box so first of all the orange box is the major all right the major supply zone all right so the blue box if you look at it is within is within the orange box did i move the orange box no remember that you don't move your uh you don't move your major supply zone okay you or the demand zone in other case you don't move that you what you're gonna do is that you have to find something within something all right so example i'm gonna give you another example okay what if uh, let's say what if what if the zone happens to be at this area what if it creates a drop base drop outside of this major supply zone am i going to take the take this trade no definitely no you have to know your rules you have to know what you want to want to do all right remember that don't move don't enlarge it because it looks uh, pretty okay don't do that okay you have to look for zone within the zone right zone within the zone this is the exact way we're gonna do it okay so this is the first lesson you have to know okay the second lesson how do you do snipering the, how do you do snipering okay if i'm going for day then i go into lower time frame and the things that i want to look for does not exist then i'll be going down lower all right i'll skip the two hours okay i'll i'll, I'll use usually i'll be doing like day four hours one hours 30 minutes 15 minutes and five minutes so i'll be going lower and lower and lower all right 
So if I saw what like exactly at this case from day chart, I saw the things that I I I I'm looking for in the H4, then I'll be I'll be stopping there. I cannot go any further. Okay, this is my experience, and this is the things I'm gonna deliver to you. I'm gonna share with you. Don't go any further. You cannot do anything about that. This will exactly will be your zone. Okay, this will exactly will be the place you enter your trade. That's all. End of the story. Don't go further because you are afraid to lose and you want to make your stop loss smaller and smaller and smaller. Don't do that. Okay, we can do that if only it allows. Okay, if it does not allow, just stick with it. All right, so hopefully you guys really learn a few tips or tricks about trading supply and demand advanced method. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. If you guys like the videos that I did for you guys, please give me a like and subscribe so that a lot other uh, traders out there naive or we call it new traders will learn a good way. I won't say this is the best, but I'll say this is a good method to trade Forex. Alright, so see you guys next time. Bye.